everyone and welcome back if you know you know I have to move so let me show you what I've gotten done because I have to dismember my whole garden this was the beans that's done um, I have to get this out chickens are tearing up this mulch there's the other bed of greens this is carrots I have to rip that out and the marigolds squash bed I got done just the other day couldn't get anything done out here yesterday because uh, Jimmy had roofers here So I just pulled this out and was looking for any of uh, the seed and I was able to get a few um, I know a few people said don't worry about the seeds, but anyway, so squash bed chickens have been in it. You can tell There's Two pepper beds they're ripped out. I have that one pepper plant to rip out basil another form of basil These carrots aren't ready. I don't think um Highly doubtful that they're ready and I don't know if chickens eat the tops okay so green stalk vertical planters it was suggested to take them apart dump the soil into the bed since the soil is going to be taken out um, and now I just got a call from Thomas that said just leave them together okay so um, but that's what's going on this here I can rip out um, and I guess because all the bags of soil I put in there plus how heavy it was he was just like leave them up so I guess one each can probably go on Jean's patio. Um, it's just, I don't know, heartbreaking. I mean, you have to clean up your garden in the winters anyway, but this is a whole different type of cleanup. This is ripping things out and trying to get it a lot done before he gets here on Saturday so that he can start shoveling the dirt out. So I'm only just going to, it's, hard to save seeds I guess I'm concerned about holy basil lemon basil and the Thai basil seeds if I didn't have to worry about the seeds I was gonna say I would cut off a couple of these but I don't even have time to put them in a baggie to really be honest with you so that green bean bed is done and harvested this is done and harvested I gave all the beans to Debbie except for the big uh, swan beans I think they are just because I'm gonna dry them I told her she can come here and take some of these um, Chinese red noodle beans off of here because that has to be ripped out. Um, and then this is the other bed. It's carrots. This was all beans. And I guess I'll have to rip um, the carrots out. And I was looking on here for, I took a lot of the flowers to make a tea. Um, I'm sorry about that noise you're hearing. That would be Eddie, who's leaf blowing. Um, that's the same person Jimmy had on the roof all day yesterday. So, anyway. Um, I picked off a lot of the flowers off of this to go in my tea. So, I just ripped out one that was there in that corner, right there. And now, I guess I'll rip this one out and be done with it. It was like, how much can I get done? Um, I usually flip it upside down to see if I see any seeds on there to save. Um, I got a few off of this, but not a ton. If you don't know, you, this is a full edible plant. You can eat the flowers, you can eat the leaves. The leaves taste like pepper. So that's that. Um, so that's ripped out. So I guess it's just ripping things out, really. Um, I don't know. It's not a whole lot of time, but a few people suggested since it's so nice out, get outside and keep ripping things out. So this is the back tomato bed. I started the day before yesterday because like I said yesterday, I couldn't get out here and get anything ripped out because he had people on the roof. Um, oh, this doesn't even want to come out. Okay, I'll have to use a shovel to get the rest of that marigold plant out. But this is what I worked on the other day. And there are green tomatoes still in here. Some big ones. I asked Debbie if she wanted them. She said yes. So I'll put them off the side. She gets them. She gets them. Uh, but I have to finish. I've been cutting them down and putting all the sticks back there. And then I'll have to tie them all up. So uh, the corn has to be ripped out. Basil has to be ripped out. Mm, what else would be left? Purple top globe turnips. Let's go see how they're doing. 
And I did save a lot of zinnias. And I guess if I want zinnias, I'll have to get some more zinnia seeds, I guess. But let's look in here and see. Do you see anything? Yep, there's some there. Let's see if there's any like big ones I could pull out. Probably not. These might be like beet size. You see that right there? These were planted pretty densely together. So, I guess I should just worry about finishing the tomato bed. Then I have to wrap up those sticks. Girls are over there. Friends, I don't know what to do with the Swiss chard. Can you dehydrate it? Can you blanch it and freeze it? There's a ton. All this is Swiss chard. Red acre cabbage. Purple kohlrabi, collards, other Swiss chard, peas, all the other flowers, beets, and then uh, zucchini. And I've actually been getting some zucchini, so they're not usually in this one a ton. Come on, you, picking the beet leaves. Scoochie, scoochie. Um, let's take a look at the beets on this side. There's a couple that could probably be pulled. See them? But I have ones I just boiled. Debbie can have them take them home and just peel them. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to do. It's Ford Hook, giant Ford Hook. I don't know what to do with it, how to preserve it. So if anybody knows that, leave me a comment down below. But this is what I got to deal with with the in ground. And I'm letting the chickens do their thing, and I have to still rip out zucchini. So let's go back here. Say, like, I've been saving the flowers. This one can get ripped out. This is just some kale. And there is one. I want to show you this. Because I never posted my um, Brussels sprout video. But looky, looky, what's still here? Where'd it go? Hey, you are slinging dirt at me. Stop. Um, this is a harlequin beetle. And I just smushed and killed which once these get in your garden you're kind of screwed because they can eat your whole crop and they make all the leaves look like that that's a dead giveaway if you don't see it um let's see but that is what got into the in-ground garden and destroyed all my brussels sprouts so a little surprised to see that still here and we're having warmer temps. Um, but sometimes you have to look in the middle of a plant to see if you see it there or see it on there. But glad I at least got to show you what a harlequin beetle bug looks like because they are destructful. They will demolish a whole crop. So I had them on this property this year as well. I think I spoke about it in my live. So, I guess I'm going to have to go get scissors. You can see in there. Um, I'm going to have to go get scissors because what I've been doing with these tomatoes, tomato plants, look, tomatoes, chickens don't even really eat them. I've been cutting the branches down real small so I can bag it up and get rid of it. Um, yeah, so I guess this video is all over the place, everyone. I'm really sorry. Just bear with me. And the reason why I've been putting dates on my other videos is because I have videos in my phone and I'm just going to need time to get packing. And, um, you know, so if I have video on there, you might be like, oh, I thought the girl was moving. Well, I am. But I'm just trying to put some dates of when I think I recorded it and upload that so there's some type of content on the channel. Oh, she flying for? Um... So yeah, this is the mess that's left that I have to clean up. So I guess I'll go in and get scissors because like I said, this video is all over the place. Um, and then I have that pile to get rid of. There's all the sticks. I have to get the lights down. It's sad and yet I'm overwhelmed because I have zero help. Um, I think Thomas will be here on Saturday. To start, I don't know, ripping out whatever he's going to rip out. So, 
Hi, girls. Hi. <laughs> I'm letting the girls just whatever. Do whatever. But yeah, a little su surprise that they're not eating the green tomatoes or anything like that. I don't even know. They could have been eating these tomatoes right here. But I have to get this bed completely empty. And I think this is the chicken. You know, they're nameless chickens. That is pretty docile. And just does this. My capetta, right? Pretty bird, right? Um, and she usually follows me around, so that's awfully cute. I don't know how the free ranging is going to work out over Thomas's place. Maybe use the green fencing and give them, you know, like their own area. I'm not really sure. But she's in there. I have the girls over here keeping me company. And um, so a few more beds to finish ripping things out of. The hole in ground one has to be done still. There's some beans back there, but I'll just take them for seed and get rid of that. And I don't know why I'm so worried about bagging this stuff up, I guess, because I'm just considerate, and I technically could just leave the mess, but I don't usually roll like that, and I have some knick-knacky type of things I have to wrap up, get these lights down, so that's kind of what I'm doing today on this Friday, feeling overwhelmed, and still going and trying to rip things out, so I have to get a bag, so I can bag things up, I have to get the scissors, that was just working out easier for me, um, the scissors, cutting them into pieces you can get more in the bag and yeah and they're just hanging out with mama <laughs> they didn't get to get out yesterday so they they were getting ornery today like better let me out today i let them out with roofers being here so i think i explained everything that still needs to be done some of the dollar store stackables there's like a few things in it just to pull them out and yeah, I don't know if you could see all the way over there. I have an outside tote, fertilizers, and trellises packed up nice and neatly for Thomas to take over there. I think tomorrow we'll be digging up perennials that I put in and stuff. So still a lot more to get ripped out before he gets here um, tomorrow. And yeah, we'll see how much we get done this upcoming weekend bring you all back and show you what it looks like or as it's being I don't know I'll turn on the camera and try to record as much as I can about what he does and what he takes whether he starts shoveling the dirt or whatever but love you all I will guess I will see you on the next video and have a lovely uh, weekend coming up and I'll talk to you soon okay bye bye